Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Um, you might have recently watched uh, my two last videos um, describing the unboxing or kind of describing the product, uh, the cheap products I recently bought which were um, uh, um, Viltrox Speedlight, which is this one, and um, a set of wireless transmitters and receivers. So I wanted to test out if they're worth the the price, if they work, um, if they are a valid alternative for photographers on a budget. And so far, in the these few days I've been using them, they have proven to be quite um, quite decent in their working. Uh, except for the fact that today I noticed a little bit of an issue, um, meaning the transmitter seemed to stop working all of a sudden. Um, well, it stopped working, then it started working again, flashed three, four times, then stopped working again, then started working again, then stopped again, and now as you can see, it's kind of dead. Uh, I did notice the LED that should be turning on when there's communication was very dim, so it was probably an issue with uh, battery. Uh, the problem being this transmitter doesn't really have a battery casing so you need to take it apart if you want to check it out or change or change the battery and um, I thought I'd do a video about it because um, there's a chance that people might be buying these cheap products and saying oh you know what I spent like 10 euro on receiver and transmitter and it's not working well uh, I'll just toss it in the garbage and buy a new one or upgrade to something more expensive which is obviously a, pr a pretty good idea but tossing it away or not using it because not using something because it just stops working doesn't seem like a very smart approach so let's try the classic method of banging it around a little and see if by any chance it starts working so I did already open this um, because I wanted to check um, what, the, what the issue was uh, and I figured I'd make a video after I opened it so this isn't a uh, real troubleshooting, a uh, real time uh, troubleshooting video I would say, uh, but it's all the same. Uh, hopefully it will be helpful for anyone in similar situations or you know. So there's only one screw keeping the transmitter locked so we can go ahead and open it and it will be interesting even for any of you who don't open their gear up or to see what what's going on so let's see it's still not working so you see the flash is on but communication is dead the led isn't turning on there's no communication so once we open it we can see what's going on inside and we have um this board the circuit board with a switch that apparently is not working. There's an, a little LED here, as you can see, so this one should be turning on. Uh, I'm not really 100% sure what the other elements are. My uh, electronics knowledge is really, really not good enough. But it doesn't take uh, an electronics uh, genius to realize, well, first the battery might be dead, so in that case it's a pretty simple fix. You unscrew one, uh, you unscrew a screw, pop in your new battery, and off you go. But here's a little issue with what I think cheap or bad design, because you can see the housing of the battery is very, very, well, oh, this I think might be ground, which hasn't been soldered anywhere, so I don't know if that's... Um, if that's a mistake on the part of the manufacturer or if it's not necessary and that's just you know a little bit of extra cable so actually if someone knows you might I would be curious to know uh, why this hasn't been soldered uh, somewhere or yeah however let's get back to our issue as you can see the um, battery housing is extremely flimsy so let's get this out of the way so we can uh, so you see it's basically a spring, the battery is held in by tension, there's no actual um, housing for it to keep it uh, set, set. 
So one of the things I thought is this is probably the main issue, apart from that battery being um, uh, de depleted. And it's, as you can see, the battery is kind of slightly tilted. And you can see there's a recess in... In the battery, let's see if I can, yeah, in the battery structure and the, the spring, which should be making contact, doesn't really seem to be perfectly seated on the contact spot. So I figured maybe by just rotating the battery, something might change, and let's see if it does. No. But maybe by moving it. No. And now it works. So you see, works, works. It works pretty well, and um, I'm not sure if we can see the LED lighting. Yeah, but it's not dim. So the issue in this case is actually what, what I think at least is bad design or well bad design maybe you know there's a reason why these uh, products cost uh, cost as much as a McDonald's meal and it's probably that they really have to save on all the small details so in this case okay they have a spring the spring is designed to hold the battery down in tension and to be con and yeah and to be um, to both be the contact point but also what keeps the only thing that keeps the battery in tension there's no housing no casing so um yeah so this is probably prone to bending you can see it's not perfectly straight already and this might move around and your battery might wiggle around and contact might come loose so if this happens to you you might want to just pop it open uh set the battery back in place in a position that feels uh, central and you, your flash should be working again. Now, as you can see, this really depends on very small movements. So if I move the battery, if I just incline it a little, well, it might not work anymore. And if I move it again, it will work again. So the next thing I'm going to do, if I notice that this battery wiggling in its casing starts creating serious issues and I can't really rely on it while I'm at a photo shoot or while I'm doing my projects or whatever, I'm going to maybe um, get some plastic spacer or something just to keep the battery as straight as possible or, yeah, or maybe... Um, I don't know, I'll find some solution, possibly. I, I'm hoping I don't need to do it. I'm hoping this tension will just suffice. Because, uh, I mean, it's not like I'm going to be banging this uh, this transmitter around. It's not, a, it's not heavy machinery or anything. So, hopefully, it'll stay in place once I put it back. But, as you can see, now it's not missing one hit. So it's as simple as that sometimes. Open up your 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 gear and uh, check out if there's anything that makes sense to you or doesn't make sense to you. And sometimes uh, your, the fix might be way easier than you figured. So let's put it back together. And um, I'm assuming, to be honest, this will prove to be a little bit of an issue. Because if it takes just a little bit of movement for the battery to to be dislodged or to lose its contact, uh, I'm probably going to have to find, you see, it's already not working now. So I move the battery again and now it works. So it, yeah, the basic is here. Uh, how to fix it is up to you, I guess, if you're facing this kind of issue and, um, it may be something as easy, as simple as, um, creating a housing for it, a plastic little housing, putting a little bit of a, of a something beneath the battery so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't move down. And uh, putting, I don't know, I'm not sure what the fixes are, I just found this out, so I still have to think about it. And maybe you don't even need a fix, maybe it just needs to, the battery needs to be kind of set, set in a position that, work, that you discover works. 
but this is just to say uh, don't give up on your gear uh, just because it's super cheap and it doesn't work uh, odds are it, I mean well odds are for sure it was manufactured by someone so odds are there might be some small um, flaw in it some little um, some small defect, something that can possibly be fixed by just using a screwdriver. So let's see if it works now. It does work. Let's give it some time to recycle. Yeah, so now it's working. And as you can see, the LED isn't dim, so it's not an issue of battery, probably. Probably the battery is decent. Uh, and there you go. Uh, flash fixed and I hope this will be useful for any of you don't be afraid don't get um, scared away from cheap gear and uh, even if it doesn't work whatever open it up you spend 10 euro for it even if if it's already broken it won't break even more by disassembling it so don't be afraid uh, have a great day everyone take great pictures and see you mm, at the next video if you like what you see, if it's useful to you, if you want to see more, um, please subscribe, like, um, comment in the channel. If you have any ideas, stuff you'd like to see me um, review or maybe just, you know, play around with, uh, take apart, just let me know and uh, we'll, try to get, we'll try to get this stuff rolling. Uh, thanks again and have a great day.